final seconds of this final day. First goal on an extraordinary day of destiny. Wolves ahead at Molyneux with a header from Havard Flo. Ipswich, though, was shooting on sight at Portman Road. Jim Magilton sending Suffolk spirits soaring. Back in the black country, Peter Beagree restored Bradford's morale with a superb strike. And not to be outdone, Ipswich matched that in class and execution, with Scowcroft rising majestically for his 14th of the season. But with fans at both games glued to their earpieces, Bradford took the lead with a characteristic strike from Lee Mills. And even Kieran Dyer's elegant lob couldn't lift the half-time gloom at Portman Road. By now, the irony of the situation was sinking in on the Ipswich bench. For all their enterprise, it was Bradford on their way to the Premiership. Sheffield United sensed that unease, Donis poaching their only goal. Meanwhile, at Molyneux, Robbie Blake, 17th of the season, had Paul Jewell dancing on the touchline. By the time the news had filtered back to Suffolk, there were few nails left to chew. And even a missed penalty from Beagree at Molyneux failed to change the course of events. Ipswich's fourth from Naylor was greeted with almost lukewarm applause. Those same fans there were roaring their heads off when news came through of a second goal for Wolves. As Simpson looked offside. When the same player's free kick smacked against the upright minutes later, Paul Jewell's sigh said it all. By now, even the Ipswich faithful were watching the final seconds at Molyneux. But in the end, Bradford were up. And even these distraught Ipswich fans will salute a remarkable achievement for Paul Jewell's side. Pete Barclough, Sky News. Pulsating game. We went a goal behind. And all credit to the players, they were fantastic. Um, and if the penalty goes in, we probably have a nice little uh, ten minutes at the end there. But... Be Bradford being Bradford, we like to keep people in the ground and um, let them get back in the game. Absolutely stunned to be honest. I mean, uh, the boy hit a post in the last few minutes there, uh, Simpson. I mean, great effort. Walsh has made a couple of great saves, but we've uh, back to the wall, we went down 1 0 early on. Great, three great goals. And, uh, but we do it tough. We give him another goal, missed a penalty, but um, no blaming for Beast. I thought he was outstanding today, got a great goal for him. And uh, just emotionally drained to be honest. I just looked up at the crowd and I for the one championship trophy after their 2-1 win against Birmingham at the Stadium of Light and you might say that the manager Peter Reid who doesn't smile that often was delighted well that's how the top of the first division finished up Sunderland with a new record number of points 105 Bradford into the premiership next season with them but there's another two weeks to go for Ipswich Birmingham Watford and Bolton in the playoffs Wolves miss out and those playoff semi-finals begin next Sunday. Bolton at home to Ipswich and Watford at home to Birmingham. The return legs at Portman Road on the following Wednesday and at St Andrews on the Thursday.